Hey guys, the sunglasses holder has finally arrived from AliExpress. Um, I featured this in one of my videos before on 10, I think it was top 10 items uh, available from AliExpress for your car. And um, this is actually what it looks like. It's got this felt padding on the inside and only this one is not sprung. Only this one on this side has a spring in it. I don't know if you guys can see there. So, Unfortunately, this is not one of those um, soft touch or soft return sprung items. So, and I don't really like the handle, but I'm going to fit it and just see what it looks like and see if I actually like it, if I'm going to keep it on the car or not. I've, I've checked with my sunglasses, they do fit. So I'm going to fit this to the car and show you guys how to actually take a grab handle off and how to put this on and let's see what it looks right, like. So pulling down the, the handle here, um, you've got to get a trim tool and now I've used this one and it's got a hook um, and I've put it in there and I've just unclipped this clip like so and you can see when you do undo the clip uh, there is a, and it looks to me like a, a Torx 20 screw inside there. Um, it's a bit dark, so, but I think it's a Torx 20, so I'm going to get my Torx screw out and undo that screw, and then uh, this one still needs to be undone. Just unclip it and pull it up, and there is the spring. I just want to show you, this is the Torx screw that I used. I don't think it's a T20, I think this is a T17. My Torx screws, as you can see here, are not labeled. So that there is a T20, that one there, and this is the one I used. So I'm thinking that must be a T18 or a T17. That's what it looks like. And I think this problem that I was thinking about because of the fact that on the Jaguar, this entire area is recessed in here, um, it's a bit of a tight fit, it's a very snug fit, so this thing doesn't bounce back with a hell of a force. It has a, a gentle return motion. Um, when I get my sunglasses out, I'm just gonna have to prop it back like that. But it doesn't look too bad. And this is what these little caps look like. And I'm gonna prop one in here kind of difficult to do with one hand but there we go so that's done and you can see they provide a nice little tab there for you to just pull it off it's quite easy and there we have it done so that's what it looks like on the inside and uh, get my sunglasses. So I've got my sunglasses in there now, and uh, that's them. Not the easiest to get them out, I'll be honest, but once you got them out, you got them out. And I think to, to get them back in, you got to, they have to lie like that in order to fit. So, it does have a springy action, but it's not very strong because of the fact that there's no clearance between the headliner and, uh, and the unit itself, but I'm happy with it, and at least I can keep my sunglasses in my car now. 
So there you have it. Easy, quick, five minutes. Doesn't take long to do it. It's up already. And uh, this is the old handle. I'm gonna hang on to it because if anything goes wrong with this one, uh, I mean, it doesn't feel like the quality of this. So I don't expect it to last very long. It was quite cheap, so I'm really not too bothered if it doesn't last very long, but it's holding my sunglasses and that's all I wanted to do. And if you want to fit this to your car, it doesn't matter whether you drive a Jaguar or any other maker car, these things are universal and they'll probably fit most cars. So, you know, if you're thinking about doing this and you don't have a sunglass holder in your car, seriously consider buying one of these. They come in three different colors, black, beige and gray. So they will fit most cars. And um, if you liked the video, please subscribe and share. And I'm out of here.